your employer will be responsible for your visa fee, will be responsible for your relocation costs and expenses, which means that when you're applying for this visa, the visa fee will not be the one to pay, your employer will pay. Your trip, that is your flight ticket, your employer will be the one to pay, accommodation, your employer will be the one to pay, and your employer will also pay for other few things that are necessary that you need to start up this job. Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Chidema and today I'll be talking about free work visa for teachers. This is an amazing opportunity for everyone and I bring the good news. Now, the government of New Zealand has made an announcement which says that more workers are needed in their country with free visas. This means if you successfully get this job, your employer will be responsible for your visa fee, will be responsible for your relocation costs and expenses. When you're applying for this visa, the visa fee will not be the one to pay, your employer will pay. Your trip, that is your uh, flight ticket, your employer will be the one to pay, accommodation, your employer will be the one to pay, and your employer will also pay for other few things that are necessary that you need to start up this job. Is this not an amazing news? It is, and that is why I bring this good news to you all. I know a lot I know a lot of you that are watching me right now are qualified for this job. So that is why I'm excited to bring this job to you. Are you not excited? I am really excited because I know you, you, you and you are qualified for this job. So stay tuned to this video and watch till the end. This is also a straight resident visa which means that you are coming as a permanent resident once you successfully get this job without any fear of immigration laws or rules affecting you anytime anything let me say if you're a temporary resident in any country you know you will still be afraid because your let's say your leg is still shaking because any laws or any immigration rules can affect you anytime but this particular one if you're applying as a, a, a it's a teacher you will enter straight as a permanent resident. You're not entering as a temporary resident. You're entering as a permanent resident. And which means that you are fully relaxed. No immigration law. No immigration rules will affect you anytime. Is this not an amazing one? If you know this video is for you, so stick with me to the end of this video. And do not forget to give this video a thumbs up so that YouTube can recommend it for others. The New Zealand gave this announcement of recent stating that they need unique workers in their country. And these unique workers are teachers. Teachers are needed in their country immediately. They're not saying that later on. They're saying immediately they are in need of teachers. And the great news about this opportunity or about this pathway is that you can come in with your family. And you can come with your children that are even up to 24 years. You know, there are some immigration rules and laws in some countries that when you are coming in into a country, from your you can just come in with your dependent children from 0 to 18 months. Sorry, 0 to 18 years. But this one is 0 to 24 years. If you have any child or children that is 24 years, you can come in with them. This is wonderful because there are some so many uh, workers going into other countries and their children are above 18 years. They can't go with them as dependents. But in New Zealand, your child that is up to 24 years, that is 0 to 24 years, can go in with you as a dependent. That can move in with you as a permanent resident and as a dependent to you and automatically becomes a permanent resident in New Zealand. Just are high. Secondary school teachers are in high demand in New Zealand and the government is enticing them with PR. That is enticing them with permanent residents. Unlike the UK, that there are some jobs, some career jobs, which I know that when you go in that you have to stay there up to five years before you can become a permanent resident. But you, New Zealand is different. As you are going in there, 
as you are going not even that when you go after three months no as you are going you are going in as a permanent resident and take note that these teachers are secondary school teachers only that can go in as a permanent resident and these are the teachers that are in high demand presently this, this occupation is now added in the new zealand green list and what do i mean by new zealand green list these green is a list of occupations that are in high demand in New Zealand. So all the occupations in New Zealand that they need. Secondary school teacher is one of it. But they have other occupations, the agriculture, the construction, the driving, the health, and the rest of it. They are all lists of occupations and they are called the green list in New Zealand. So if your occupation is in high demand, is in that green list. So you just call it a green list occupation. So secondary school teachers are in that green list. So they are in high demand. And these governments are incising them with PR. Do you know what it means going in with a job and permanent residence? Let me say some countries like Canada, if you enter as a permanent resident, you will enter there and start looking for jobs. And sometimes those that enter there as a permanent resident, it took them three to four months or even six months before they could get a good job. But here in New Zealand, it's, it's just you're getting a job and you're going in as a permanent resident straight. And what I like about this is that any qualification in teaching can apply. And what do I mean by that is that teachers of different subjects, such as mathematics, English, languages, economies, all types of subject teachers in secondary school are qualified. They are all needed in New Zealand. Unlike the UK, where only uh, teachers are restricted, uh, subject teachers are restricted, what they need is a math and science teachers. But in New Zealand, all subject teachers, economics, physics, biology, fine arts, languages, social studies, any kind of, so all types of subjects in secondary school, teachers are needed. New Zealand is a dream destination. The immigration system is stable and easy. The pathway is free and enticing, very, very enticing. And I'm telling you, if as you are in the green list, if you apply for this job, it does not take more than two weeks. I'm telling you, New Zealand's immigration process is easy. Once you apply and every of your document is complete, their processing, their visa processing takes not long. Unlike in Canada, which will take six months, one year. But in New Zealand, the visa processing time does not take much time. Highest a month, four weeks. If you are coming into New Zealand as a secondary school teacher, you are coming in with a tier one visa. That is the type of visa you'll be applying, tier one. And also note, as I stated earlier, they are not looking for primary school teachers, the tertiary school teachers. They are looking for only secondary school teachers. From teachers. And the first thing to do is to get an offer letter from an accredited employer. And how do you get an accredited employer? It is quite easy and not tasking. All you have to do is go to the New Zealand government website, Scroll through to the part that talks about accredited sponsor. Then you can look for employers that are looking for teachers and then you can apply. One of the eligibility you need to have is that you must be 18 years and above to apply for this job. Yes, 18 years and above. You can be 65, but 18 years and above. So what they're looking for are adults and not children. 18 years and above. And another eligibility is that the English skill requirements. That is, they need you need to write an IELTS and you need to get a band seven. Yeah, I know you'll be saying IELTS. No, 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 I can't do. It. No, you can do it when you put commitment and passion into it. I'm telling you, commitment, passion, and hard work. Put it into it, you will skate through and get the bank seven. So guys, what are you waiting for? Go put up your application for IS, write it, skate through, go to the website of uh, the government of New Zealand and look for sponsor, accredited sponsor and apply. And you will be in New Zealand before you know it. Another eligibility is that you need to have an employer, an accredited employer who is willing to employ you for a full-time contract. That is a permanent contract. 
and at least you need to have a 38 hours per week job yes this job needs to be 38 hours per week if any employer is willing to give you this full-time contract you can have this legibility you can then put up your application where to get these jobs in linkedin in indeed and in also in the new zealand government website this is where you can get all these yes. jobs this pathway and this program comes effect this may so it is not yet crowded and it is not yet competitive that is why i bring this opportunity here for my subscribers who are teachers to apply and i'm telling you close your ears to discouragement close your ears to laziness and put that effort that hard work and passion into this application and you will schedule i'm promising you you will schedule so guys we've come to the end of this video please do not forget to subscribe like and share and if you have any question please put it down in the comment section i'll be ready and available to answer all your questions thank you guys for watching and bye